everybody, welcome back to some more Wargamer Dragon, or as somebody misheard, Summer <laughs> Wargame Red Dragon. Um, somebody challenged me, well, not challenged me, but suggested to play Red for Motorized. But I'm not allowed to put anything in my tank tab. However, I have to fill the entire vehicle tab. And honestly, at least when it comes to Red for Motorized, Blue for might be a different story. In Red for Motorized, not being allowed to take any tanks, it's not a big deal. But having to fill the entire vehicle tab, actually potentially annoying because Moto doesn't have the best vehicles in Red 4, at least from memory. There's like one or two that you might want to put in because the cheap slots, the first couple, well, all of them except for this one are one point, of course. But most good vehicles in Red Dragon, uh, sorry, in Red 4 are prototyped. Yeah. So that's what? Seven points? Isn't that much, but in Red 4, of course, or Unspec, or not Unspec, but non-nation and non-coalition, you only do have 45 activation points, which is why most of the time you choose a specialization, so that you essentially reduce the cost, most notably of infantry or maybe tanks, um, to get more units into your deck. But the vehicle tab is, for most decks, the weakest tab. And um, yeah, like I said, on Red 4, most really strong vehicle type units are prototype. Not all of them, but most. In general, I've seen a lot of people suggesting uh, motorized decks. And China slash Red Dragons motorized will come again, but uh, <laughs> whoever suggested this, I don't know the name off the top of my head, they paid money for their comment. So hell yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sellout. So if you want me to do something, give me your money. I'm only half joking. I'm not fully joking, but also not totally serious. Um, yeah, we're gonna take the boat tank, I think. Sorry, boat CV. Motorized doesn't really get any tanks. Maybe I should take one of these, but you gotta keep in mind with no availability bonus. If I want a reasonable amount of CVs. While only having two cards. They are not really an option. Plus, they are not... Very survivability comes in the form of extra HP, not necessarily the armor. And this thing has a really good off-road speed. Although, in all honesty, this is probably still the better option. As fun as it is to take the boat CV, right? Because it can swim. The 20 kmh off-road speed is actually a, a lot more noticeable in most scenarios. There's few few scenarios where the amphibious capability really helps. In one versus ones, team games definitely a d different story. Um, and in those few scenarios, you probably don't want to use a Jeep CV anyway. Anyway, anyway, so this is probably, unfortunately for some, still the better option. Do we need the Ural? Well, we probably want an MS-17 anyway, right? Let's take the MTV. I think MTV has the advantage over MS-17. Oh no, the MS-17 also has armor. There was some MI-8 that, where the Soviet option, sorry, the Soviet version had armor and some other stone or something. Maybe I'm misremembering. Also, somebody was asking, how do I compare vehicles, oh, sorry, transports, or how do I pin them when building a deck, right? Because as soon as, even if you click here, as soon as you go away with your mouse, it goes back to the infantry. What you have to do is you gotta click here, hold your left mouse button, and only let go of it once you're off the unit card, then it stays here. As soon as you hover over something else, gets replaced again, but as you just click and while still holding your mouse button down, remove your mouse and then let go and then it stays here. Then you can pin it and do whatever you want. Um, we probably need to farm, so I'm gonna settle with 20 points uh, supply trucks. Infantry, FJB are nice to have, but you only have seven slots, not nine, so I'm not sure if you can fit this in. I might actually want them in the SVW 70. They're honestly pretty solid squads. Bongo Young aren't too bad either, but Lekka Perota are probably the better option. Karin Yakari might not be too bad for town fighting. Probably one of the card of these, maybe near 17. Lijan are also really strong for town fights. Motrutsen are okay, but they have relatively expensive transports. Probably better off taking the Polish counterparts because of 10 point wheels. If they had the SPW 80, which is the BTR80, which has a, a better turret, twice the accuracy and 
I think also twice the stabilizer on the KPVT, making it actually a, a good bit stronger. Does it also have better off-road stance? Hold on. Do I get the PDR 80 on anything here? Yeah, here. Um, also better side armor, but no, no better speed or anything. I was curious actually, but yeah, the SPW 80 is a prototype. This might not be a bad card either. Let's just put it in for now. Let's go Pesh, fill a similar role to Lekka. They have a better recorder's rifle, but they're only line. But at the same time, they're 15 men, right? So they're a bit more tanky. So in a defensive situation, they can hold themselves better. I admit I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Red for Moto. Yeah, we probably need a card of these bad boys. I think that's the only good AT we really get. We get VDV90 in the MTV, that's true. Only in the MTV though. Might still be a good option. And then... Can we get away with just taking... I think just the Conquerors and might be a bit too greedy. I think I might just settle for the Conquerors because of the availability. And because we're probably gonna take the finish one because they get the XA. Conquerors M, of course, packs a bigger punch, but we only get six of them, and we might need to just spread them around a bit. Maybe I can't, can't afford to put these in. What do we get in terms of shocks? Spadochrinarts are probably the best option here, of just all round shocks. I think finish shocks. I would get Kartin, Yagari, yeah, but nah. Monarichka aren't particularly great. Like I wouldn't be too bad, honestly, in just an OT as well, but they cost 10 points more, right? 5 points more in the transports, 5 points more in the infantry squad. You get anything here? Young young iron option, they're only 5 points more, but they also don't have a great MG. Mochitsen, basically the same, but 5 points more for the transport. Let's just keep that for now, we'll, we'll reorder it later. We might replace something because we get infantry in the Regan type as well, of course. Jorgen is an option, Smirch is an option. I kind of want to run a Smirch, honestly. Let's just run a Smirch. Uh, you probably shouldn't in 1 versus 1. You only get one of them, so if you lose it to either counter battery or just something sneaking in your base, or you just didn't pay attention, or something along those lines, you it's gone, right? Be it your mistake or just your opponent being very good at dealing with this. Um, and a big maximum range also means a big minimum range, which is almost always, if not exactly always, a 10% of the maximum range. Uh, so the bigger the maximum range, the bigger the minimum range, which means that on small maps like paddy field, where the spawns are pretty close together, can be really awkward to use. It's going to be really accurate, but I think with cluster you probably want it to be rather accurate if you really want to kill stuff. With something like Jurgen, you don't want it to be too accurate, because Jurgen is mainly there for... Stunning. Anti-air wise, Eto90 is a great option. HQ7 also works really well, of course. Um, what I like about Eto9 is just it has just more ammo, so it's, you don't need to resupply it immediately after, you know, even just two missiles, because then it's a bit spicy to use this against a single MTV or the like. Because if you miss one missile, and you have like no auto cannons or the like around, you might just lose it. So Eto90 is safer in that regard. We just run two cards of that and uh, not bother with anything else. And we also don't have to bother about radar. Is the no? There's the prime. Might also just replace one kind with the buff three. Buff three is also great. And then maybe down with this. There's a lot of good options we could put here. We could also use Osas. Streltenem is always a reasonable option as well. Even the base Osa can be nice to replace one of these with the base Osa too. We do have FJB though, let's not forget that tank tab. Can't use, but let's see, what do we lose? Okay, the 85 2A is a not unreasonable loss, let's put it that way. That is probably the biggest one. The Eggman is also kind of nice, it has medium... Um, it doesn't have medium optics, no. This Eggman, or this T-55, can fire at your gem and gun at the same time, and it's one of the faster Maniutkas, right? It's not as slow as the basic one. Whether there's a reasonable reason for that or not, I'm not gonna comment on that, but that's just how it is in war game. Recon, we want the Recon helicopter. They're just very good, and if you have seven slots, 
Even if it's not a great Rigan helicopter, any Rigan helicopter is just good. Even if you only deploy one or two per game, they can be so, so helpful. I'm not sure if we can fit in shocks. We will need P on PSVs. Specialities, but it's not groovy. Here we get BTR 80s. Just one for the BTR 80. Specialty have the, I would say, advantage. Over Spetsnaz Gru because they have an MG instead of a sniper rifle. In most scenarios, you do prefer uh, an MG. Oh, but there are, of course, a few scenarios here and there where sniper rifle is actually really nice to have. But with Spetsnaz Gru, you have to be there already. And I think I'm gonna maybe do like one and one. What else do we want here? Do we want some CTQs? The cheap ones are pretty good. Isvidyach is also really good. Probably Isvidyach, actually. It's kind of disgusting. Um, or do we just want a kind of shock here? It's just very nice as well with the good optics, so you have something that can just spot a bit further. Monkey is funny, of course, but I don't think I'm going to put it in this time around. Sneshka is just also good to have all around, but I don't think we can can afford to put it in. Just going to think another kind of speciality. 90s. They're just going to be better at town fighting. Um, they're going to be a bit more AT as well. That we might need. I can never settle for how I want to order my stuff in the Recon tab, but I'd like to have the infantry all together in either edge. I like Recon Helicopter first. Let's do it like this. But for some reason in-game, the Recon tab, maybe the only tab of all of them, that gets reshuffled for some reason. It might have to do with the fact that it is the one of the few tabs where infantry and non-infantry are in the same type available, so maybe that's why it messes it up. But I don't know. Or it might just be something carried over from Island Battle, because when I played Island Battle recently, all the tabs just were just shuffled around compared to where they were where where they were before in the deck building. Or right, we have to fill this entire lab, which is seven activation points. Three planes cost six, four cost ten. Probably not, we can probably not get away with four planes, but it's okay. Okay, so PDC 89 is probably the biggest one here. UAZs with Conquerors. Is there what other jeeps do we get? Or tank destroyer, right? We get this HJ8. How does this compare to the Polo? Well, Polo doesn't really have anything going for that other than HP and armor. Both of which not a big deal. And salvo length, it fires four. Given that it's usually five seconds per missile, I would say four seconds, but given that it carries 18, it's probably six missiles in one salvo. I'm just looking at the, the cheapest, like high AP we can get. Or like AP to price ratio to an extent. Get 25 points with conquerors or this. Five point or like for the same price you trade two armor, sorry, two AP for five accuracy. Practically, of course. Five K in age and such, but I think this is a solid unit. What's the availability? 12-8 versus 12-8. Yeah. Let's take at least one card of this. Let's take a card of the polo because it's just very good. Maybe this for some long range in case you play, play on a mud fight. SC wanted to for some fire support. And that's already the tag sorry, the tab filled. I think I might replace one PDC. With a P on PSP, we shouldn't need that many of them. Then we can put in one of the CPTUs. Oh yeah, I, I had everything else turned off. Is there anything else I want? CPTUs are good to have. SFLs or the 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 uh, set as use, I guess, are also nice to have. I'm not gonna put in flame tanks. I think I don't think they mesh too well with motor tanks. RFDs are good. Just reshuffle this a bit. I'm not sure if we actually need as many as you want to choose. We shouldn't really do a lot of human wave tactics, but who knows. Alright, this tab is filled. Let's do the air tab first. Three planes. 27M is kind of a must-have, but it's also only one car per plane, right? Usually when you have only so few planes, you want as much value per card as you can get, not so much per point, since you don't get as many anyway. I'm kind of starting to like the uh, the East German Mac 29. You lose one wet step, but you get the fine forget and those missiles, which can be nice. 
Then we can go probably for this. Those they are all pretty survivable, fast. This is a decent multi roll. What would the would be the other option? Well, none of them are great, right? There's the Syria we could take. Wanted to make 27s. 25T, but I don't think that's quite the exact same type of plane. Or the Oral. Problem is they're all not particularly survivable either. Even though there's only one per card. In some games it just won't die, so. Alright, then one helicopter, probably the VP. It's like the best all-around helicopter. Kind of in the game, honestly, to an extent. Like when it comes to prize performance and also availability per card. Six per card with the best auto cannon, lots of rocket pods, and a reasonable amount of decent missiles. Speed, 10 armor, one front, one side armor, which is sorry, 10 HP and one front, one side armor, which is not to be underestimated. It doesn't help against AA, really, but it helps a lot when dealing with infantry and force, especially special forces that have good DPS, because that massively reduces the damage you take from small arms by, like, 90%. Which is why Cobras, when they fly over Alchimek or something, they would just get shredded. Hinds, not so much. They might still get stunned, um, and if you keep hovering over them, like, directly over them, where the guns might have issues, you will possibly still lose, but if you pay a bit of attention, you can almost always get out of there alive. Even if you get stunned to death, at least you won't die. And then you can take the engagement and, you know, make sure you're not directly over them, but a bit in front of them or behind, so you can actually use the gun, and then you'll win. Almost always. Unless, of course, your opponent gets really lucky with the crit. But you can never count that out. Alright. Uh, do we want to adjust our infantry tab? I don't think so, really. I think I'm gonna stick with the Conquerors. For high AP, we still have vehicles as well, including like P on PSVs for sneaky stuff. So let's adjust this a bit. Yeah. Yuan Chung Po might be a bit spicy. Maybe I should downward them actually. Just we get that very cheap. I could actually replace Leka since we have these guys. Then what would I replace them with? Well, in that case, if I do replace them, we could go with like a Conquer Sam as well here. Let's let's try this. It's very anti-tank heavy, but let's see. All right, this should be our deck. I know this took a while this deck building, but uh, it's not the most straightforward deck building, and it's not a deck that I play too often. I try to get. A tiny bit spicy with like using the smudge and stuff. Jurgen again, I think is still better because that allows you to stun heavy tanks a lot more reliably than the smudge, which might deal more damage if it hits, but won't stun as much. And usually, when you build a motor deck, you're most of the time, especially in close range engagements, you probably prefer the enemy super heavies or heavy tanks to be panicked and stunned rather than calm but six HP or something. But I don't know. A more experienced motor player probably would have a better option. And of course, you know, Eurogen is super card and in general just more um, versatile. Either way, long deck building, but I shall see you in a second. Once we find a ranked game. Well, damn, and we got a game already. I just stepped out for a minute and suddenly I come back to having a game. Just hope I don't forget to drink my tea during the game before it gets to go. But enough about it. That we got Pedifield, which was the map I mentioned about potentially being um, too too small for uh, smudge usage. Um, we could go for an Anna push. Maybe we should try, but this it's not the best deck for this because we don't have a make sense or the like. But I'm gonna try it anyway. Depending on the deck we go up against, an MTV alone will make this possible. So let's open with some DPTUs. And we're gonna try to drop these in there and some of these boys. I don't think I'm gonna go in too heavy in there in case I get just completely shrugged. I'm gonna try to play wide. Get some conquers in, in these bushes here. Get uh, these bad boys. Start with an Ito in the middle. Um, let's also drop a VDV over there. Some of these in there, some PTCs. 
also get some of these in there on the left. Arruinarte. Any points? I would like to get a Rick and Hilo at the start. Ah, uh, fine, let's get a Jeep CV in our base. I think that saves us enough points. Ten points. Let's get one more, I guess. Just oh no, they're twenty points, not ten. Ha! <laughs> uh, just get one new here. All right. Just a sip of tea. And let's uh, let's go and get Shreked. Alrighty. In there and get you in there. You're a bit exposed in mid, but most people don't really push there. You up there. Here. That is Anzac. Oh, I'm playing against pure Anzac. Okay, that's funny. It's a mirage. Certainly, like you don't see very often, but very cool. Let's see if people play that. It's a heat thing, by the way. Just an A's one. That's a rape here. Oh, get out of there. Yeah, that's some splash damage right there. I forgot to, I for some reason I told him to go in there. Makes no sense. But here we are, let's get a CV here. Come on, get in there, please. Try to get some conquerors in here. That's a lot of ace ones. I'm playing it's like 1980s. That make that would make it even funnier. No, that's uh oh this seventy three. What the hell, Eugen? Oh, I was so important on those FJV. Ito ninety move down there. Just realize we have, uh, we have these for base defense, I guess. Let's just get a second one on the, of these on the field. Not sure. Get you uh, resupplied. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, so Jover. You really missed ninety one percent chance. Holy smokes. Right, they have an uh the thing there. Check the rape here. Oh, you missed the uh, 81%. Okay. Do you have anything else in helicopters? No, I have snipers. Let's get some snipers there. Um. 
What's best to do with those AS1s, actually? I don't know. Oh. What damn? That F-111 is so on point. Can I just walk in there? Probably not, right? Huey with the infantry CV. Yeah, you don't. You just survive with eight armor, right? Yeah, eight armor. But these, but they're still rearming. Really, really funding. All right, we know it's in there. But there's no um, Milan wanted there. Then again, maybe they didn't get those in the uh, 19 before 1980. You never know. Some nations really get shafted by this stuff. All right, all right. I don't think we need this here. Looks like they're retreating. They did a really good job of flushing us out. But let's get more PTCs. They're they're just perfect against what we're going up against, honestly. We just outrange them. Even then they don't quite have the AP to deal with us. This makes things a lot easier. Yeah. I very much applaud the Dectros, but you're gonna have a really tough time. But you know, I have to also say, like, it's not like they're making it really fucking easy for us. They're 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 doing this they're handling this pretty well. Alright, let's just rook in there, that's okay. Make sure we're not at the edge here with the ESO 90. It only has one armor, so it immediately gets killed. Okay, that's a CCC that died, that's okay. Cargos. Let's unload you there. Uh, no, no, land, land. Oh, wow. Damn, Daniel. Well, that's that at least. That's really annoying. I don't want to give this up. Or I don't want to let them have it. Even if this is just a uh, quote unquote just Anzac 1980s? <laughs> this has to be unspec, right? No, no, it might be mech, it might be mech. Uh, those could be other commanders though. That aren't mech. I didn't really pay attention, but. Uh, where? Okay, perfect. I want them down here. Get you a bit back, I don't want you to get suddenly get, uh, suddenly get spotted. Oh, just a triple sack of these bad boys. Uh. Keep driving up there. Okay, you're dead. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's gonna be a really tough time for them. But I, I feel like it is, uh, maybe I just have to be content with not having this. This is still ANSEC 1980s, almost guaranteed. Um, unless it, they're trying to like put us into a false sense of security and then pull out all the Cat A Commonwealth stuff, which sounds like a fun strategy. Oh, I just got an idea. All right, all right. Here's an idea. 
video idea, if you are still watching at this point. Um, quote unquote phases in Wargame. I'm not allowed to buy any Cat B stuff until it's say 10 minutes in. And I'm not allowed to buy any Cat A stuff until, I don't know, uh, 20 minutes in or something. That would be, that could be a fun thing. Alright, I'm just gonna hope that I'm gonna... Alright. It's arrived at the fact that it's panic. Oh, look at this, a tracked rape here. He already might be able to kill it. It's evacuated because... Actually, yeah, yeah, I didn't have that much food left. I kind of just wanna... This is a horrible decision, but I wanna see if I can make use of this much. Holy! That's the M108, huh? M108 is so good. I should counter the M108s, but I wanna go for those. Leopards. There it is. And shift there and shift there. ASF out. Maybe I'm gonna hit some uh, M113s there on the way. Well, that'd be really funny. Also, I should get some freaking supply on the field. That's a miss. That's a hit. But honestly, the chip damage is going to be really useful because now my PTC is going to have a much easier time to potentially one-shot them. m 8 they're not going to die from this. They have one top armor. This is good. this is really annoying me actually. Like holy smokes. Yeah, there's some more shit there. I have to be really careful. Get like a Congress in there. Congress M because then I can watch out those AS ones. And there are more PTCs. Gonna fire up to there. I might have to buy a second ASF. Supply Chinook. Yep, 1964. Stupid quarterback. And try to get some of these into the town there. You're spotted by... Oh boy. This. You idiot. I just screwed up. Get turned. No, 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 no. You weren't covered. You weren't covered. They already say that this is really annoying me. Honestly, get some uh, FJV in there to get rid of this stupid ass spell. It is hovering. Hold on, it is hovering low. Ah, oh, I only managed to deal 3 damage to it. This was a T72 or something. Would have died. More ace ones. Uh, you need 22 AP to one shot, which is just what they have actually. 
get some here in case they try to cross. I, I'm not actually going to put them there. I'm going to put them like here. Just so I can shoot this way. Because I think if I'm here, I might get spotted by whatever he has in there. Okay. I'm actually gonna fight a full salvo, so I don't don't fire the other two. Other two or four or whatever shots. I might have killed something. No, I only dealt damage. That's where the XP is from. That's counter battery. That's okay. I, I, I queued up a, a ship move. What the frick? I'm for. Oh, got lucky there. Get some uh, ground recon, uh, some recon infantry in there. And you actually gonna love them there. Let's have you circle. This is actually a lot more difficult than, than I think. Like, Pushing further on paddy field can be really tough sometimes, and against like F-111 Cs. Like a shift firing there. And it's gonna move out of the way and then fire in there next, next time gets the chance. Just fire us out when there because we can. Move you up. Right, sure, go ahead. What's your reload status? Yeah, you're gonna need a bit. <laughs> this is so stupid. Like a top double sack of you in there. That's a rapier. Oh, it's it's a rapier. Oh, did you really see those move in there? They only have five HP, so uh, they die pretty fast. I don't want to move in here and there, that might be too obvious, but if I move here and then through the bush there, they might not realize, even if they spotted moving there, they might not realize it's going to be, end up there. Also, don't forget, there's going to be three F-111Cs. So even if I kill two, then shift here. Also, these salvos are fra far from cheap. Let's get a second one. And then circle you. As we don't have long range AA, which turned out to be probably quite a mistake, um, we kind of have to be relatively preemptive with our uh, ASF fallouts. And there they are. Okay, I think uh, our opponent immediately realized those are spotted. Probably were paying attention in this part of the map, just there. But I don't actually. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get these. Con oh, that's that's one down. As something at least. <laughs> not, not, I mean, those are like 6,000 for what? One resupply of this, some anti GMs, but the two whole salvos of this. Uh, uh, it's not Honestly, you could maybe just move in with the 27M here.
air spotted now from the alouette. It's pretty funny. Ah, uh, what's this? Ace once. Alouette doesn't spot them anymore, okay. Chino, good supply. <laughs> what a match, man. Uh, where do you want the CV? This is not great. I think trying to get it in here might be the way to go. Let's move one back there so we can unload our infantry CV here. Put it in the XA and move it up more safely. 108s. Kind of want to get those uh, that 27M base track rapiers. Gonna get one or two missiles off, but it might actually be worth it. Circle you. <laughs> what a match, man! It's it's kind of. If I was saying like an armor and a mech tank and a tank series, I could just put out the tank series there, and this would be relatively safe, unless you know the M1. Oh, there they are. Unless the uh, thingy my bob comes out, the F11. I think this is actually worth it. This is only 80 points, but I think the risk is relatively low. Right, there's a Mirage. And another Mirage. Alright, I killed the F-111. I lost a... Uh... <laughs> I told you! It's... What's with my... Where did that even land? Oh no, it didn't land anywhere. I killed F11. Oh, what did I freaking tell you? Oh, did oh did I got my farm spotted? Well, rip. Did I kill anything? I don't think I did. Well, my farm got spotted. Fair play. It's relatively. It's hard to really act, like deny that. There's maybe some recon infantry here that just snuck around relatively early and it's just you know if we don't see it coming, hard to deal with. And you know, with those M108s being like so spread out, it's also just kind of difficult to actually deal with them now. Oh, you're out of ammo. That's that's funny. Oh, I got that kill in. Nice. Both rangers. With the Edos up. How the fuck is this spotted? You didn't even. Oh, you did fire. Oh shit, the bush rangers. Probably get just a hind, honestly. Oh, that's that's funny. Oh, I actually lost the Edo 90 to that. Man, those M18s, I keep telling people they're really, really good. And some people just don't believe me. Honestly, I should probably... I really have good units for that. You'd want Rikula's rifle chips or the like... Oh boy. It's all my ASFs gone. My E290 is over there. No, oh, that's my mortar firing on there. Oh, it is. This once is sitting right there. 
Oh, it's gonna double tap me. Oh, it actually did. What's my fob? Is my fob dead? My fob is dead. Ah, uh, I thought it would be deeper in the forest here and I could try to juke it. But there don't seem any, to be any vehicles here though. Could have done it much earlier probably. Yeah. Oh shit! Ah! The bell! The bell! That's actually really funny. Did we kill the bell? I think that one did. We still know the infantry CVs in there. Uh, this might drive down there now, so gotta be careful. PMP is we still have line of sight. And have some more Gardiniakari on the way as well though. Probably just flew like right there and then spoiled the fob. <clears throat> Excuse me. Killed some M108s, so that's oh, yeah, actually out of them. That's funny. Killed some M108s, which is great. Oh, come on, conquerors, really? Holy... You're... What do I pay you for? You have... Uh, ammo. And there's the one, one F111, so we have to be really careful if we want to push up here. So I'm not gonna try to push there right now. Hey, did I put this on this key binding? Is that a bomber? It is a bomber, yeah. That's a low. G bomber. Oh shit, speaking of pushing down there. Those are probably more commandos. Well, now you hit, of course, stupid ass conquers. Actually, have them in second line. It has the F111. Uh, is it gonna. Rather on point, actually. Really? Wow! I dodged right into that. That's something there. It's a leopard. Hopefully, the CV. Why don't he just turn you off? Specifically target those leopards, please. Oh, you have no fuel. That's funny. Oh, you also have no fuel. Also really funny.
I have a PTC on the 8th still over there. This Edo up. Skyhawk, HHM plane. Well, oh, there's no point in trying to turn you off. Honestly, really good plane versus us. Because it doesn't really care about... Like, it's uh, low armor, right? It's just perfect medium tank sniper for the price. It's really cheap. Oh, I have no ammo on this, Ito. You have no ammo. I know. Okay, apparently we did not kill the tank CV there. With our smirch. You stay there. Yeah, you're you're a good faster than T55. I lost one T55 there. Get another one. Place you in cover. Get you some supply. Move this MTV over. You guys still have the massive advantage over range. Or off your range. And now pull back. Oopsie. Actually, yeah, just attacking. <laughs> He's still sitting there. Yeah, this train is gonna one shot them, though, I'm pretty sure, right? Well, this one, these are both damaged, both of them would probably be one shot. Uh, honestly, just get a polo, that's decent armor. Yeah, just get polos, what am I doing? They're easily gonna tank them. They only have... yeah, their heat. Their heat only. Uh, I usually use my 6 key to like deselect units. So I keep keep going to the smirch which I had on 6. Hold on, let's put like this bush ranger on 6, so as soon as it's set or we unspot it. You can't put enemy units on hotkeys, right? But it only works as... Oh, you can't... Um, I'm spamming 6 key, you can't move your camera to them, but that would... Flicking. Oh, but that's the weird zooming in on a randomized plane bug. I have another Eater coming? I do not. Oh, you actually. Oh, the bell probably is fine. Well, well played! Let's get FJB. Come on, man. That fucking Edo is out of ammo. Stop flying over my base, it's just rude. Can you give that Edo ammo, please? Come on. Come on! Oh, it's taking forever to reload. Half a minute. FJB! Let's get more FJB. Right, you have ammo again. <laughs> what, a, what a scuffed game this is. I shouldn't have such a hard time against uh, Anzac, but I am. Evidently. See you dead. See you dead. It's a Mirage. Is that a bomber? It's a cheap ass bomber. So I'm just not by Ethos now? It is, huh? How do you know my CV is there? What the hell? Oh 
Oh come on, really? F oh, okay, you got your your transport got murdered. That's why. But there's the new Eden item. For some reason, I told you to pass move there. Very smart, Razman. Unload before you get killed. Yep, going for that. That's the CV. Buy a new CV because why not? Kill those PTZs. Probably numerous occasions where we probably could have just moved, and moved forward with our PTZs or some shit like that. I reckon. Make sure we spread you up. Sp split you up. <laughs> This PTZ is what is his name? Jin Kayla. Gee, what the heck, man? I played like Garbo. <laughs> oh, it's that here. That's funny. Like honestly, well played, man. Um, like I said, I, there probably were situations where I could have just pushed through, but I am a very careful player, which is why motorbikes generally don't suit me as much. Commonwealth mode, I think, is one of the few exceptions. I don't know, I just vibe with that deck. But um, you need to exploit weaknesses in a defensive. I guess red motor isn't necessarily the best to, to do that when you don't focus on helicopters and 25 T's and it's like. But I've just, that's not a place that it just suits me. So, of course, I think the map isn't ideal for that either. Uh, but it's just, I'm, I'm very wary. Um, when like, trying to push up like that. Yeah. Okay, where was which one was that? That's no, that's not the one on the left. That's right for ages. This one, sorry, not right for ages, but ran out of fuel. That's the one that ran out of fuel there. Um, <laughs> this uh, this is also the other thing, right? I typically do well against really unorthodox decks. Decks. Um, it could have been probably just very aggressive PTZ eighty nines and E two nineties behind or the open field. But I wasn't, right? Because I'm just very careful. And I just I just blank out against certain decks. I think that there's a good chance that I might have got might have done better against a quote unquote meta deck or something. Not necessarily, right? Um but or like a, a stronger deck, even if it's not a meta deck. This is like one of the easiest decks to probably go up against. With the exception of F only or something. Uh, but I think if I'd just gone up against normal NZEC or Commonwealth, I might have done better actually. Either way, though, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hold on, what did the mass merge get? Yeah, not that much. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye.